Such an important health watch to bring you this morning, keeping your children safe at home. Former heavyweight champ Mike Tyson's four-year-old daughter died last night, one day after she was found with her neck caught in a treadmill cord. On average, about 900 children die every year from accidental strangulation. Here this morning with some advice on how to make sure that your kids are safe in their home, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning, Good morning, Doctor. Maggie. Such an important segment. I, I really wanted to do this because I worry about it so much. Absolutely. This is the one that everybody knows about, but please explain how a child can strangle his or herself right, with these. Right, so this is really enticing to a toddler or a baby because it looks like a toy. It's a loop. A lot of times they go up to the window, they see these, they put their heads through it. We need to separate them a lot of them can come apart and don't keep them in in view or reach of kids and they That's can be tied up so that the this kids is the really easiest thing you can do them. is just put this right. and wrap it these are called there. cleats and you can get them at any hardware store and and if they're separate is that no no longer a problem right because the, well they can potentially wrap it around their neck but, but it's at harder least it's to do. not literally a noose okay let's talk about things that people may not be aware of like clothing Right. Now, every kid likes to play dress up, and these seem very harmless and benign. But even something like a pacifier cord, a bag with a long loop, dogs can pull them and strangle children. Um, bibs should have Velcro so they can come undone loosely. Scarves like this, really not a good idea. And this is a big one. Even the hoodies, which have cords around them, can get tied up. Phone cords also. Look how long this cord is. This to a toddler or a baby mm. is a toy, but it can cause death with disrupting blood flow to the brain in, in a matter of minutes. Such an important point. You just have to turn away for a second. Absolutely. And, and of those, it can happen. And of those 900 deaths due to strangulation, 45% of them occur in the home. Mm. So outside world is dangerous enough. No. We need to safeguard the inside of the house, too. I had a friend who lost a little girl when her nanny turned away for just a few seconds. It's yes. tragic. It only takes seconds. Awful. Thank you, doctor. We'll be right back.